One of my factionites, Shiam, requested an episode of my philosophy on creativity. And when I got the request, I was actually a little stumped. That's because creativity is such an epic topic that can be debated to the ends of the world. Anyway, I do love Shiam's request and I'll do my best to share my experience on creativity. Showing you some original songs that I've worked on, referencing some of my YouTube videos, and a bit of my journey as a drummer and YouTuber. I realized there were two paths that I've taken in my 18 years as a drummer and 8 years as a YouTuber, which have led to the creation of about 100 YouTube videos, as well as a couple of original songs and projects. I like to call these two paths the Wanderer and the Hermit. The Wanderer is the person who is curious about everything and has a multitude of interests. They are the ones who get bored if they do something repeatedly and so they often jump from one interest to the next as soon as the last interest stops serving their wants. And I am something of a wanderer. Before I was a drummer, I learned to play the trombone, the euphonium, the electric guitar, bass and piano. I eventually settled on the drum set as my favourite instrument but I still dabble in a bit of everything whenever it tickles my fancy. Incidentally, this interest in multiple instruments led to my first ever YouTube video back in 2012. And why make my own videos? Because I also had a keen interest for cinema. I would get my hands on as many movies as I could, holding my own movie marathons on some weekends. Even though doing YouTube wasn't exactly like making a movie, it allowed me to dabble in putting a video together and leveraging my passion for music at the same time. But even before I began YouTube, my life took a 180 degree turn and in true wanderer fashion, I quit music in pursuit of something else. The year was 2010 and I was a student at Berklee College of Music, one of the most prestigious music colleges on the planet. Ironically, my time as a student at Berklee actually eroded my passion for music and I let my passion for a computer game which I've been obsessed with take over. So I quit the Berkeley, sold all my music gear, and proceeded to pursue becoming a professional StarCraft 2 gamer. But that's a long story for another video. To summarize, I failed to win any major tournaments in my two years of trying, so I eventually quit that gaming life and picked up music again. That's when I started that first YouTube channel in 2012, and in 2013 changed gears and opened this educational drumming channel that you see today. So what has that whole StarCraft saga got to do with creativity anyway? During my time pursuing professional gaming, I learned what it truly means to be self-taught. I couldn't hire a teacher to teach me on a regular basis, there were certainly no educational DVDs on StarCraft, and the few online tutorials that were available don't go into the details of what to practice, and especially how to practice it. You see, at that time, StarCraft eSports hadn't blown up yet unless you were living in Korea, so I had to analyse how the pros played and compare it to what I was missing. There was no way to know whether what I was doing was correct or wrong, I had to do it anyway. I invented exercises to practice mechanics such as keyboard and mouse speed and accuracy, like this target practice I did with Microsoft Paint. Precisely because of these limitations, I developed a unique perspective of looking at learning and education. So when I started out of Drumming HQ after coming back to music, I wanted to design tutorials that taught advanced material in simple to understand ways. I also wanted to design tutorials that taught progressive music because I realised that there weren't any educational videos on prop metal on YouTube and I wanted to help others learn this material more quickly. My passion for gaming, movies, drumming and education also culminated in this video. Where I tried to combine all my interests and providing a level up screen was a simple way for me to start doing some of that. I also had a cartoonist draw me characters representing my factionites that were a mix between RPG fantasy characters and drums. I read a lot of books, and what I read inspired me to write songs about them. Here's a song I wrote based on Ender's Game. I wrote another song inspired by Neil Gaiman's short story Sweeper of Dreams.
and yet another song based off my wife's short story, Fireflies. Having a multitude of interests kind of makes you a jack of all trades and a master of none. But it also allows you to gain fresh perspectives that you otherwise would not if you were still pursuing the same topic. You'd literally be getting outside the box to think out of the box. So go ahead and embrace all your interests and pursue them to your own liking. Even Einstein practices the violin and plays with laser beams when he's sick of working on his paper on relativity. And we all know how he transformed the world with his creations. The Hermit is the ultra-dedicated person and he is the complete opposite of the Wanderer. They can get totally obsessed with their craft and sometimes lock themselves away from the outside world to pursue it. Despite my wandering nature, I've also tried to be in the Hermit's shoes at different parts of my life. The first time I auditioned to my local music college at the age of 17, I failed. That was a real kick in the butt for me and I was forced to admit to myself, I must be a lousy drummer. Luckily, I didn't give up. I took on the Hermit persona and proceeded to practice every day. A year later, I went for the audition again and I succeeded. This let me experience the value of earning something through dedicated hard work while ignoring other interests. There was a time I cooked mushroom risotto once every week for a year because I wanted to master the creation of this dish. During my time as a professional gamer wannabe, all through that summer vacation, I locked myself in my rental apartment in Boston and only left the room to get food or take a shower. When I started out of Drumming HQ, I made YouTube videos every month for 3 years until I came up with my own creative formula and incidentally, that was my first Animals as Leaders tutorial video. It was also the first video that got me my first 1000 subscribers in the month that followed. Before that, I had barely 50 subscribers. I still continue to practice the drums and create YouTube videos to this very day. If I hadn't pursued those two interests in a focused manner, I most certainly would not have created so many of these videos or even written any of those songs. Or been in that band, or that band, or this band. Dedication and focus can certainly be a powerful ally when it comes to creativity. Because if you dedicate yourself to just one topic for the longest time, only you are going to see deeper and further than anyone else in regards to that topic. Charles Darwin's book, The Formation of Vegetable Mold Through the Action of Worms, is the result of his 40 year study on earthworms. Now talk about ultra dedication to a single topic. To end this video, I would like to stress that I wasn't trying deliberately to be creative. I was simply following these two paths at different parts of my life, be it through pure dedication on only one topic, or switching interests and gaining a whole other perspective. These paths naturally helped me to express my own creativity. I think I'm something between 40% Wanderer and 60% Hermit. How about you? Or do you think you're entirely on a different path? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope this video inspires you to follow your own path to creativity. And in the meantime, don't stop dreaming and don't stop drumming. Of course, unless you're sick of it.